Do you shake sometimes from being hung over? Uh, no, not me. I don't know. If I have too many drinks in like three days, mm -hmm. my hands will like shake for like a few hours. Yeah. It's, it looks like I have Parkinson's. This is Joshua Block, better known on the internet as World of T-Shirts. I'm Joshua. Yeah. I'm a New York City influencer. I'm a New York City tour guide. I do these tours around the East Village and North. Brooklyn. I get a lot of people that go on them. I have people from all over the country. The spectrum. Yeah. All, all over the spectrum. No, all over the country, no. all over no. the world. Totally. World of T-shirts has got a whopping 2.5 million followers on TikTok. But how? And doing what exactly? I'm drinking like there's no no. Again, to avoid making a whole video about why alcoholism is bad, let's just glaze over all of that for now. Instead, I want to talk about two things specifically. Michael Quinn and the World of T-Shirts fan base. Michael Quinn is a guy who you find in a lot of World of T-Shirts TikToks. He's become one of the main characters, besides Josh, in this whole story. So I'm like the New York City expert. He's, he has this obsession because of his autism with New York City. I'm willing to collaborate with anyone on social media. I don't care your age, your height, your skin color, your mental capacity. If I get along with you, I'll do a TikTok. Doesn't the vodka cook out? Like, it, it does cook it, out, it yeah. It cooks out, right? There's like no alcohol. I want, I want that, yeah. I'm the least racist person you've ever met in your life. I'm, I'm so not racist at all. I'm just like a real, like, forward thinking, progressive, white American, Brooklyn born, New York City, amazing person. Yeah, my favorite uh, bar is Snickers Bar. I love Snickers. It's so tasty and big and black and thick. And but why do people hate Michael Quinn so much? If it doesn't exist on TikTok, it's not, you know, these people, that's the real world. Like these people on Reddit, like, I don't know how they have all this time to figure out everything about my life. And that's another thing, judging me, okay? You can't judge someone without evidence. And it's just Quinn fits the bill of the villain because he's older, he's smarter, and he's taking advantage of this person who views for clout and is enabling him. And, you know, they use all these like empty words that are first of all not true, but they just, it, like, what does that mean? Like, how do I enable him? He's, he was drinking before I met him. Michael Quinn is weird to say the least. Michael Quinn has been caught on camera encouraging Josh to drink. I grew up in an area where people drown. So it's kind of very an American culture and it's acceptable at an early age to drink. You know, that's just the way it always was. You know, it was a part of what, you didn't think anyone would go out on a Friday night unless you were gonna, you know, have at least six, seven beers. It was just part of the Irish Catholic culture that I grew up in, in, in Southern Brooklyn. And I think in, in New York too, it's an American thing. It's an American thing. And um, you know, it's just, just it's a drink, you know, but I think some people just let it get out of hands. You know, they just, you get to a point where you gotta think, is this ruining my life? It's ruining my relationships. It's, you know, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Michael Quinn seems to really think that he's taking good care of Josh, or at least helping in whatever way that he can. But why? Why do it? He really doesn't have anyone like me in his life. You know, even his grandpa, I don't think knows, and his grandpa doesn't want to talk to me. I said, fine, you know, he knows that I don't feed him alcohol. He knows that I'm always there. Whenever anything happens to Josh, when he was sent to the hospital last week, I'm the first person he called. So anytime he's in danger, he doesn't call his grandpa, right? he doesn't call any, he calls me. And I'm the one, and then all of a sudden Quinn has to put his cape on and save Josh, even though we need him. Where's Quinn? Like I'm Superman or something, you know? Is, is it easy? No. But at the same time, where would he be without me? Obviously, he immediately needs some kind of support. And in what form does that support? Counseling, rehab, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna work for him again, but I need someone to kind of assist me with this. Someone who's a professional, who could get him the resources and the support that he needs. 
you know, because I'm really his only true friend at this point. Michael Quinn also helped Josh set up his World of T-Shirts East Village tour, major source of income for him at this point. The tour costs $50, with $30 to be paid online, and an extra $20 to be given cash to World of T-Shirts himself to cover the two included drinks on the tour. I decided after talking to Michael Quinn that I would also sign up for the tour, but not to see how far into the throes of alcoholism World of T-Shirts had become. Instead, I went on the tour to see who exactly would show up and how they would interact with Josh. How's your day? How you doing, Good. Josh? Okay, I need you to stand against the window. Window. What's this for? For the tour, right? Yes. Window. Twenty. You I, didn't pay. We paid online. We paid you online. have. It's the additional twenty. Where's Moscow? I don't have any more cash. You don't? Do you have Venmo? I have card. Josh, what's up man? We're going to Brooklyn and Manhattan. It's 40 for the both of you. 40 now? Yes. Yes, that's the rest of it. Okay, alright. And then I need you to stand by the window. So far. Oh my god, like Oh no, I don't have time right now. What? This is so cool. No, uh, I don't have time. Can I take a photo with you? Okay, then you gotta Thank you go. So much. Okay. <laughs> How did you even know I was here? We did it, we just came across you and I'm No, we're going to be starting so Seriously, you occupy my TikTok right now if I'm watching it. Did you just come or you been here? Oh, okay. Did you just get here or you... Okay. Ahoy! Ahoy! Okay, we're ready. I'm gonna take this off just while we're walking. It's because there's people that try to take it during my tours. Let's go! So, hold on, hold on. Let me show you Ray's first. This is where they sell the best egg creams. There's no eggs or cream in it. It's just mil uh, milk, club soda, and syrup. It's a New York thing. Only in New York can you get an, a real egg cream. Only in New York. <laughs> Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York, my vagabond shoes are longing to stray and run around the heart of it. New York, New York, I want to wake up in a city that never sleeps. And find I'm king of the hill, atop of the heap, my small town blues are melting away. I'm gonna make a brand, hold on, uh, technical difficulties, you start a bit in old New York. 
if I can make it there, I'm gonna make it. Don't sing anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New York. How you doing? Good. Mind if I get a picture quick? Oh, not now. Selfie? New York, New York. I'm gonna wake up in that city that never sleeps and find I'm um, a number one, top of the list, king of the hill, a number one. My small town blues. They've all melted away. I'm gonna make a brand new start of it. Right there in old New York. And if I can make it there, then you better believe I'm gonna make it anywhere. Come on, come through. New York. New York. New York. The East Village, also known as the Ukrainian Village. The Ukrainians used to live here. The Ukrainians once took it over. The Ukrainians once took over the East Village. There's a lot of Ukrainian restaurants. By far the best one is Veselka on, Se on 2nd Avenue and uh, St. Mark's. How do you feel about the war in Ukraine? It's bad. I, th I hope Ukraine wins. Oh, roll the t-shirts. Not yeah. now. Come on. Can't you see we're busy? Damn. Some nerve. <laughs> do you shake sometimes from being hungover? Uh, no, not me. I don't know, if I have too many drinks in like three days, my hands will like shake for like a few hours. Yeah. It's, it looks like I have Parkinson's. What, you shake too? I get shaked. Yeah. Is it just a hangover? Yeah. Josh, you should try orange juice in the morning. It helps a lot. I know some people who get that, they're alcoholics. Yes. <laughs> but they're but they but with them they're shaking for like three three weeks. Oh yeah, no, it's not three weeks. It's I three shake weeks. for like a day. I shake until good? I get food in my system. I've seen that video of me uh, chugging fireball in Penn Station. <laughs> oh my god! The last time I drank a Malort in Chicago, I I start I start I gag it. I'm drooling. You can't keep it down. I kept it down, but I was gagging. I was choking it down. Malort's the best. It's disgusting. Three, two, one, Malort with Josh. Let's get it. Woo! Yeah, you got it. Oh! You got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> What's your favorite drink, Josh? Uh, I like uh, once in a while a uh, rum punch, a margarita, or a Long Island. Long Island? Long Islands get you freaking wasted. They do. When I'm taking it easy, I'll do like a White Claw, High Noon Twisted Tea. Yeah.
What about beatbox? Have you ever had a beatbox? What is a beatbox? He's never had a beatbox. It's like 10% alcohol. It's a, it's a wine. Oh from my Texas. god, Four Loco, you know? Uh, it's better than Four Loco. It's, like it's like a little juice box, but it's like 10% alcohol. And you can put a cap back. You should try a beatbox sometime. Four Loco, one can of Four Loco always makes me drunk. Yeah, you would get so drunk off of one beatbox. I'm telling you, you should try it. They're from Austin. You have to have them. We're gonna go this way. Let's go. Come on, we can go. Josh, how do you choose like your favorite bar? I just I just pick a bar and then we go. We're gonna go this way. We're getting on the L now. And we'll find a bar in Brooklyn. Oh, oh, we could go to uh, this place here. It's a bar restaurant. Okay. We're gonna stand by the bar. Absolutely, have fun. Okay, I'm gonna get us some drinks. I'm not gonna have Okay, so 11 of us are drinking. Before. What? You were in McCarty. McCarty. Where is oh in Midtown? Yeah. Oh yeah. He's famous. Huh? He's famous. How are you? Uh, How are you doing? It's good. There's eleven of us getting drinks. Could I do eleven Pinot Noirs? Pinot Noirs. Yes. Ele eleven Pinots. Huh? Eleven. Eleven. Yes. Where are the t-shirts? Can I get a picture with you? Oh, uh, we're on, we're busy, right? Can I get a picture with you? T-shirts, dude, it's where are the t-shirts? Where are the t-shirts? What an honor, dude, what an honor. Where are the t-shirts? What, what are you drinking tonight, world t-shirts? We're having some wine. Wine? We're having wine. We're drinking wine. Wine? We're having wine. Hold on, let me pay the bartender. A hundred, one twenty, one forty. Here. Thank you. Okay, you can come and get your wine. You just pass it. What's the story you guys are on? It's a sightseeing. Why'd you pick this place? This looks good? I just select a, a random bar. Good choice. Hey Josh, cheers. 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 Cheers, Josh. I know. I have you always been a red wine drinker? Uh, yeah. Why? I always get the shakes when I drink wine. See. Josh, I, I have to ask you something. Why don't you stay consistent with what you drink? Why don't you just drink the same thing over and over? The hangovers are a lot less worse. Yeah, one day, you pick, pick what I want to drink that particular time. Yeah, and then and then that way the hangover is way less. Do you ever get hangover shaking? Uh, I don't, I'm not... I used to, but not, not so much anymore. What, you don't get drunk? I do get drunk every weekend, but I don't drink during the week. When you finish those drinks, we're continuing. Uh, I think most of us are, have finished them. It appears that way. What? I appear most everyone's finished them. Let's go, let's go then. I was choking down that Cabernet. Yeah, you liked it, it was good. It, it wasn't. It didn't taste like Pinot Noir. No, it was definitely not Pinot. Because it, it, I kept, I kept, what? I said it was Cagnard. 
It because I kept chugging it and it made me want to throw up. Oh, yeah. That oh, doesn't that happen with Pinot. Pinot. That was not Pinot. That was Cabernet. We're getting on the L. <coughs> yep. We're going to uh, downtown Brooklyn. That's not too far into Brooklyn. <laughs> So are we kind of turning this into a little wine tour? Should that be the plan? Oh, uh, we might get white claws at the other bar. Gotcha. You know which one that is? <clears throat> I'm not sure yet. Josh, how do you feel about vodka shots? I don't do many shots. I do fireball. Yeah. And look sordo. Cherry look sordo shots yeah, are I really th good. I thought about you last night because me and my sister were doing fireball shots. I, I like those cherry look sordo yeah. shots. You know what that is? It's like a candy liqueur. See, like a sweeter liqueur. Yeah. Do you like Jaeger, Josh? Jaeger's good. Jaeger bombs. Oh, yeah. What about vodka ripples? The vodka ripples good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Fucking assholes. <coughs> you have to have a Metro card or a tap on your debit card to get into the subway system. Get on. Get on before. Get on before you get left. Josh, we came here for your tour. We came to New York. We came to right. I came up from North Carolina. To yeah. My buddies told me I need to tell you to go to Cherokee, North Carolina. Right. Get off, get off. Get off. Everyone get off. Everyone off. What? Do you pay taxes? Yes. You do pay taxes? I do. Did you file your taxes already this year? I did. You did? Did you get a return? I owe money. Ah, oh, that's the worst. Going to Hoyt Sherman Station. Oh, okay. That will be the final stop. Josh, we're gonna head out. Bye. Okay, bye. Yeah, we just Thanks for the tour. Right up, Thanks for the tour. Right, bye. Can we take a maybe a, a, a picture? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Is that okay? Hey, one of you guys mind? Yeah. Thank you, Josh. It was nice meeting you. Bye. Make yeah. sure to find a beatbox somewhere and try it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a we're going to keep commenting, beatbox right. and TikToks. Yeah. Try one, right? Okay. All right, Josh. How many of us are left? Six of us. One, two, three, four, seven. Seven? Seven plus you, Josh. Okay. Let's go. Okay. How long are we going to be on this train for? Uh, not long. This is the last train, or do we get on another one? This is the, the one, this is the last one.
I was in Naples. Yeah. Yeah. Last year I was in I Naples. I think I saw you at Tiki Bar down there. And remember, I threw up in that girl's hair. Yeah. <laughs> My friends go to that bar all the time. Rem I, I, I might be banned from there. No, we're I, not banned. I'll make sure of it. Because everyone back. said, boo, boo. Oh. We're getting off. Okay. Because okay. everyone was like, boo, oh. boo. <laughs> they were booing me. Oh. Because I threw oh. up in that girl's oh, hair. No. I drank like the tiki punch, you know, oh, you get the get little you. picture. Yeah. It's there's a lot of alcohol in there. Yeah, that'll get you. I was like, bleh. <laughs> I drank the whole thing. Oh man. <laughs> Let's go. Let me tell you about this place before we go. Yeah, sure. Okay, so this is the most famous subway station in the world. Really? Oh, wow. So these abandoned platforms were for the Court Street Shuttle. Yeah. The Court Street Shuttle was shut down due to low ridership. Yeah. A lot of movies are filmed over here. Really? Oh. Teenage Mutant Warrior t Turtles. There was a scene T no, Teenage Mutant Turtles. Oh, okay. There was a scene from Warriors filmed here, a lot of movies. <laughs> How many of us are left? How many of us? Seven. Seven plus you, Josh. Okay. Hey Josh, you want a cigarette? Okay. Here, let me pop this for you. Okay, light it. Here, you gotta... Suck in. <coughs> Josh, how's your review on the Camel Crush? What Camel Crush? That's what you're smoking. That's the name of the, that's the kind of cigarette. <coughs> I think I inhaled too hard. <coughs> oh my god. We'll sit we'll stand by the bar. Okay. What? Uh, yes, I'll leave a uh, $2 tip. Okay. Oh, yeah. Did you say hi, Alyssa? Okay. Hi. Josh, while I've got you, would you say uh, shout out to Swain County High School? Shout out to Swain County High School. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Almost every single person on the tour encouraged Josh to consume some form of alcohol or tobacco. But that's exactly the kind of culture you see over on TikTok. Audiences looking in on people and their content like zoo animals. I don't know what will happen with Josh Block or Michael Quinn in the future. Again, that's not really what this video is about. What drew people to World of T-Shirts content initially was an unabashed love for New York City. And it makes sense, actually. New York is an easy place to love if you let yourself. But it's just as easy to get lost in that and lose sight of who you really are.